Hello, CN Genetics. Do you recognize this guy? I am Chantal, and welcome to the 3 Minute Podcast where we'll be talking about science concepts in just 3 minutes. We're all familiar with gravity as the reason why objects fall, but there's a lot more to gravity than that. Gravity is a long-range attractive force between all objects with mass. It is the only thing that keeps us from falling off the Earth. It is also responsible for the Earth's orbit around the Sun, as well as the formation of the Sun four and a half billion years ago. Pretty awesome, right? It's mind-boggling to think that every object with mass in the universe attracts each other, that your crush, the Earth, and the Sun are all gravitationally attracted to you and you to them. Isaac Newton discovered that the strength of gravitational force is proportional to the square of the distance between two objects. That means if you're twice as far away, gravity is only one-fourth as strong. He also discovered that gravity's strength is proportional to the mass of the object in question. The more mass of the object, the stronger the gravitational force. That's why we can all feel the Earth pulling on us. But don't notice the moon's pull, simply because it's smaller and farther away. However, the moon's gravity is so strong enough to cause tides. By the way, remember when I said earlier that gravity is an attraction between objects with mass? I kind of lied about that. What I really meant is objects with energy. Yeah, you heard it right, objects with energy. Because in addition to objects with mass, Gravity also attracts light and other massless objects particles. Thanks to Albert Einstein for discovering that. This is why a photon of light can be bent slightly as it passes through the sun or a trap completely by a black hole. In case you weren't able to comprehend that, the sun's gravitational pull is 27.9 times higher compared to Earth in a black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, no particles or even electromagnetic radiation such as light can escape from it. Now, do you understand the gravity of the situation? Um, no? Oh well, at least you now know that your crush is also attracted to you, gravitationally speaking.